Anna Lydon here and today on my video blog I want to talk about a subject that isn't talked about much in mainstream America and that is spiritual and sex. I want to put those two words together today. Some of you may have heard of sacred sex. Some of you may have heard of tantric sex, right? Well, I think it's all kind of the same nucleus, same understanding. And, and the reason I'm, I'm talking about this today is I have a, a really good I guess I could say tip that I want to send your way and I do a lot of um, sexual empowerment workshops I used to do a lot of them I haven't been had the time to do very many lately but I've had the experience to be with a lot of women um, learn a lot myself we all learn a lot when when we get um, in the company of other women but um, when we think of spiritual sex here's how I want you to think of it first let's look at the word spirituality and so if I were to ask you what does spirituality mean to you how would you define it? If I said to you, are you a spiritual person? What, what does that mean to you? So think about that for a moment. Because my definition for the sake of this video is that spirituality is not a religion. It's not a place of worship. It's not even a philosophy. But it's more about going beneath the surface of who you are, deepening the human experience, looking at your purpose, looking at your authentic self discovering your truth in life okay so if we take that kind of concept and we have it related to sex you are merely going to be deepening your sexual experience okay now we pretty much still live in a Puritan society for the most part right here here in here in the, in the West and so a lot of us are still hung up on sex for some of us, it's hard to talk about. For some of us, it's hard to express ourselves during sex. For some of us, uh, women especially, it's hard to have an orgasm, uh, hitting the G-spot, an internal orgasm, or multiple orgasms, or, you know, we could go on and on. It can be a hard subject to talk about openly. So um, here, here's where I want to go with this today. When we think of spiritual sex, when we think of deepening the sexual experience, one of the things I, I want you to know is that it has everything to do with our breath. I know that may sound funny, and you're like, our breath? What's that have to do with it? Well, first, let me tell you this. We don't breathe fully. We use, as humans, about a third of our lung capacity. And so I heard an analogy somewhere that I thought was really brilliant, and that is that a mouse or a rabbit, they breathe fairly rapidly. They have a small lifespan. The tortoise breathes very, very slowly, has a long lifespan. And then we have the human being who breathes unconsciously and lives predominantly an unconscious life to a certain degree, right? I think many of us are up here living on the surface of our lives, not really going beneath the surface to tap into the depth of who we are. So let's look again at the concept of spiritual sex. Let's go back to breath. It's very, very important. It's that life force energy that moves through us. Without it, we wouldn't be here, right? So I think the stat is somewhere between three and seven minutes that it takes a man to ejaculate during, you know, lovemaking. I know that that is, is just a is just a rough uh, a rough gauge here. That doesn't mean everyone, so don't get <laughs> don't get freaked out, men, and and start emailing me. However, um, that can be longer. There are ways to deepen to strengthen, to lengthen uh, your lovemaking before you go into ejaculation. Same with females. If, if you're one that tends to, you know, have an orgasm rather quickly, there are ways to do this, and we do it through breath, through our breath work. So if we are breathing in a shallow way, and a lot of times when people are having sex, they hold their breath, believe it or not, they breathe up here, or they'll have really kind of like high-pitched sounds that are just moving from here to here, right, and, and not really fully engaging in their breath. Um, some of us feel uncomfortable making noises, making sounds. Some of us feel actually uncomfortable even breathing for fear of what might happen if I let go totally, right? So when we are in the sexual experience, one of the things that is really powerful that you can do, and you can pass this on to your partner, you can use it together. Here's how, another way I want you to think about this. Men, when we're talking about sexual energy, they start out with their energy in their genitalia, and that energy then moves up through their body, up through to their heart center, okay? So, yes, we get it. We know men are pre-wired that way. They want to start out with the physical, and then they move into the lovey-dovey and emotional stuff. 
women, well, naturally, we start out in this heart center, and we need to be coaxed, and we need to be stimulated mentally, and all of this good stuff, and then the energy moves down into our genitalia. So you can see we've got the male and female energy here that automatically some might see as being off balance. But not necessarily, because it's kind of like the yin and yang. We can learn that kind of dance, and it, it becomes a partnership, if you're aware of it. But through our breath, we can magnify it. So, if you are um, a man that has trouble with your ejaculation, meaning that you come too quickly, um, one of the things you can do, and same for us women, because we're going to need to do this to help our partner kind of engage in this interplay. So, when you feel like, oh, wow, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting close here, stop and take a deep breath in through, you're carrying it all the way through your body and exhale it. So that what you're allowing yourself to do is move that energy through the whole body, not just concentrating on the genitalia, because often that's what happens in the West, especially when we want to have sex. It's all about just the sexual organs. We forget that we can have a full body sexual experience, that we can have an orgasm throughout the whole entire body, that men can have multiple orgasms without fully ejaculating each time, through this kind of breath work. So women also, you can, you can kind of dance with your partner in, um, in this concept of breathing. But before you are about ready to ejaculate and you feel it, stop and take that breath. Move the energy through your whole body and exhale, taking that pause and then moving back into it. And it, same thing with, with you, with us as women. We don't want to hold our energy just down there. We want to breathe fully into our body because then we're having the totality of the sexual experience. You're taking it all in. So that's just a quick tip for you, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Give it a shot. Let me know.